everyone. Uh, so I am Tahura and I'm here with a lecture on single link list, which will be a part of your data structures if you're preparing for gate computers. And if you're preparing for your gate computers before starting of the lecture, I'd li really like to share a few important information with you, which is uh, which will help you in your gate preparation is you can go on an academy. And as you know, an academy is India's largest learning platform. You can go uh, and it provides you with all personal co uh, coach and planner and personalized test analysis. Uh, and with plus subscription, it will uh, give you daily live classes and live tests and quizzes. You can uh, you can uh, subscribe to an academy's iconic or plus subscriptions. You can view all the pricing information uh, in each of its uh, respective tabs. And as you can see, it will give you all the benefits, structured courses and PDF study planners, etc. You can view all the pl uh, uh, pl pricing information here. And as you can see, it will cost you 45,000 per year uh, uh, with 3,750 rupees per month. And if you want to get an instant discount on this, you can simply use our code as simple YT. And as you can see, you, you can immediately get a 10% off here in, as soon as you apply this code. So guys, go ahead and subscribe to an academy and don't forget to use our code simple YT to get an instant 10% off. On this note, let's start with our uh, course for today. Before that, I'd like to share a few things about myself. So guys, this is me. I've completed my C uh, engineering from MIT COA uh, Pune, and I have been working in an MNC from past three years now. So yeah, now let's start with today's course that is data structures, singly linked list. So guys, what uh, in this course, we'll see what is singly linked list and the linked list the, and the operations which are basically performed on singly linked list. So linked list are basically data structure in which each of its elements are stored in data and information format, like as you can, uh, as you can see here as well. Right. As you can see here, it, it stores as data part and information part. Info, uh, information part is basically a pointer which points to an element next in the list. Right. If we start from the uh, first element of the list, which is known as the head of the list, and if we want to go till the tail of the list, we'll have to traverse through each of its element. Uh, and how can you do this as each of this element is stored at a different memory location? Uh, you'll uh, For traveling each of the element, you'll have to go on the uh, memory uh, pointers which are stored at the end of each element right if you go on the first node it will give you a point address for the second node uh, if you then you can go on the second node access the data there then again it will give you a, a, an address for the third element and so on like till the end of the uh, list and when you go at the uh, at the last node, you can see that the address field in this node will contain a null, which will which will indicate that you have reached to the tail of your linked list or it is the end of your linked list, right? So like this, you can traverse to your linked list. So like I said, uh, it basically contains a head and a data part. The uh, uh, sorry, the head and the in the head can. This is the head of your linked list and each node contains the data in the uh, pointer part. The data contains the information, whatever the data you like to store and the pointer part is simply a pointer to your next field. Right. So uh, uh, and the end part will contain null here. Right. Then this is how you search in a linked list. You go at the start and then you uh, uh, you uh, you you start with your head head of your linked list traverse to the address which is stored at its address look, uh, address field and then uh, in the similar fashion you tab travel till you reach null here the end the uh, the address field of your last node would be null right then if you want to add a node into a linked list how will you do is you'll have to traverse to a point like if you want to add a node here Right, you'll reach here. The address of this will initially contain a pointer to this node. But what you have to do is you have to add this node in between. So how you'll do is the address field. Uh, you'll change the address field of this node. You'll uh, make it to uh, the memory location of this node. So now this node will be pointing to this node. And uh, as you have to continue the rest of the list from here, what you'll do is you'll add the the address of this node in the address field of this node. So you'll, it will be basically like this. Your linked list will become like this. 
so this is how you add so you can add there are three locations in which you add you can add in your linked list before the uh, before the header or at the beginning at the end of the list and at the specific position right so inserting at the beginning what you'll have to do is this is the head of your uh, linked list simply you take a node you take a node and its next uh, and its next field or address field you put the address of your head so now this has become your head so this has become your head and the rest link is as it is as rest list is as it is then inserting at the end is uh, initially this will be your end where the next field of your last node would be null right so what you'll have to do is you'll have to take a node and uh, and the this null will get replaced with the memory address of this node so now 142 which was your last node initially will now point to 93 which which now will become your last node and this will now point this will be now pointing to null indicating end of your linked list then insertion at specific node this uh, this is a bit tricky where what you have to do is you have to insert something supposing here so now uh, initially 48 would be pointing to 17 and 17 would be pointing to 142 so now what you'll have to do is 48 change the address which is here make it to address pointing to memory location of this node and then this uh, uh, the address field of this node will be pointing to the memory address of this node Right, and the rest of your field become normal. So now it will become 48, 17, 93, and 42. So this is how you insert in a linked list in the three ways at the beginning of the linked list, at the, uh, at the end of the linked list, and in specific position. Now, removing of a node from the linked list, uh, removing, uh, like, see, uh, this uh, initially, uh, this would be pointing to this node. Now, if you want to wish to remove this node, what you can do is, um, uh, you can simply remove the address which is there in this uh, address field of your second element right if you change this address field directly pointing to this node then anyways this will be become your uh, this node will be vanished and this will directly point to this and and it will get deleted so now the this is your first element this is your second element and this is directly pointing to your last element so this is deleted so that's it guys this was uh, this is how uh, the single linked list works uh, and we have seen the basic operations which you can perform on single linked list uh, do subscribe to an academy and don't forget to use our code as simple yt thank you